Hello everyone, welcome to this 10 minute full body workout. Let's bring the arms out to the sides, legs a bit more than hip distance apart. Drawing that hand towards the opposite foot and just going from side to side. Let's go for three, for two, and one, good, standing up nice and tall, we're going to go ahead and bring one knee up, so let's bring the left knee up and rotate towards the left, so whichever knee that you bring up, you're rotating towards that knee, good, let's exhale as we lift that knee and twist, inhale as we reset. Last one here, we're just going to safely switch over onto the other side. So we'll bring that right knee up and we're rotating towards the right. Let's go for three, for two, and one. Good. Going into the next one, going into a curtsy lunge. And as you come out of that curtsy lunge, drawing that knee out to the side as well as our arms nice and long up to the side here. This is really going to control and work your balance. So making sure you're not rushing through this movement. You're engaging the muscles here, using that breath to help you brace your core. Let's go for three, two, and one. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. Go for three, for two, and one. Good. 
good. Coming into our next exercise, we're gonna go onto the ground. So we're gonna stabilize ourselves over the left hand and the left leg, bent in just like this. And what you're gonna do is you wanna extend that right leg and arm out to the sides, just like that. And when you squeeze them together, meeting the elbow towards the knee, you wanna feel your obliques moving as well here. Let's go for three, for two, and one. Okay, let's switch sides. As we extend the arm and leg, we want to reach as far as we can, nice and long, and then squeezing it together here, making sure that as we squeeze, we're incorporating that exhale, and as we inhale, we're reaching ourselves back out. Go for three, two, and one. Good. Slowly drop it down. Feel free to shake up those arms. Coming down onto our back, let's bring our legs up in the tabletop. Arms are extended, hovering over the mat. We're just going to pulse the hands just like this for about five counts. Come back down and then go back into that ab curl and pulse the arms again for five beats. To make it more challenging, you could also just stay in that ab curl and pulse for the entire minute without dropping the head after each five counts. Otherwise, stick to what works for you. Last one there. You can slowly sit up just to allow yourself to reset and catch your breath. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and stay on our back. Legs still up in tabletop. We're coming into our arm flies and double leg stretch. So as we bring those arms out to the side, we're stretching those legs forward down towards the mat and then bringing everything back up into the starting position. Let's go for three, two, and one. Good. Slowly drop the legs and arms down. Come slowly up onto your hands and feet. Coming into our leg pull fronts on our hands. We want to make sure that the fingertips are pointing outwards just to hold yourself stable. And you want to hold yourself up. So you can either do this with the legs bent or with the legs elongated, whichever works for you today. Just making sure you're holding those hips up the entire time, you're engaging your core, staying connected to your breath, and you're thinking about pulling those feet up towards the ceiling with control. Go for three, two, and 
one amazing job slowly come on down we're done this workout and i hope you have an amazing day